The American economist Robert Mundell, known as the father of the euro, spoke over the weekend to Bloomberg's Sarah Eisen during an exclusive meeting in Tuscany, Italy. Sarah is now in London this morning, and she's going to bring us the latest on her conversation with Robert Mundell. Sarah? Eric, and it took place at Palazzo Mundell, that is the home of Nobel laureate Robert Mundell, credited with helping to create the euro. He gathers some of the world's top economists there every year, some of his closest friends, the big shots that were there this year, President Klaus of the Czech Republic, Jacob Frankwell, chairman of J.P. Morgan Chase International, and others. They gather, they eat, they drink, fine Tuscan wine, they schmooze, and they debate the future of the world economy, the future of the euro. And the key takeaway here from most of these economists here is that the euro is not going to break up. And in fact, it will come out of this crisis even stronger. That is certainly the view of Professor Mundell. He told me in an interview, the worst is over for the euro, but that doesn't mean it's out of the woods. Listen to what he said. We've heard most of the bad news of Europe. Not all of it, but we've heard most of the bad news about Europe. And for that reason, I think the, uh, the dollar-euro rate is in a more stable, uh, uh, permanent territory than otherwise. And I asked him what the bad news, what the risk could be. He talked about default, debt restructuring. He is not ruling that out for Greece, for Spain, Portugal, Ireland, but still gives it less than a 50 percent chance for all of them. Now, Professor Mundell also had a warning for the United States. He says that the United States needs to get its act together in cleaning up its fiscal deficit. The United States can't go on running huge budget deficits from building up its debt GDP ratio without getting into trouble. Remember that the U.S. is helped by the fact that the dollar is the world currency, so other countries buy dollar assets and that finances a big U.S. deficit. So, Eric, he made it very clear that Europe is taking the right approach here in slashing budget deficits aggressively. That is the key. The U.S. needs to follow that example. That and the euro will remain, and it will remain strong.